Hello, welcome back. I hope you've seen the introductory video where I showed the integration of a Somfy curtain rail and the Somfy Divia 60E motor with OpenHub and uh, smart things all the way to Amazon Echo. I did promise that I'll do a video on how to connect the curtain rail via the Somfy Universal RTS interface to OpenHub. So this is what this video is about. But before we get to the integration, we need connectivity. At the back of the device, you have uh, two RJ45 connectors. The left one is for serial port and the other one is for more advanced usages. I'm just using the serial port one. And I thought I'll be clever and use one of those Cisco cables for their consoles because they have USB on one end and RJ45 on the other. Which is great because my computer doesn't have a serial port anymore. However, not a good idea. They have the wrong pin layout. Much better idea is to use the connector that actually is supplied with the interface. So you've got your serial port connector on one side, RJ45 on another. So you just take a normal RJ45 cable, network cable, not crossover, straight through and plug that in. The only problem now is how to connect that to the USB port. I just ordered one from Amazon. This is from Pluggable. It's working perfectly fine. So you put the USB connection together and then you plug the other end into your trusted USB port. Now, this is just my Windows machine which I use for testing, but OpenApp is running on a Linux machine in the loft and I didn't want to climb into the loft for testing all the time. So I started with this setup and what you then need is a terminal program. I'm using Realterm, I'm sure there are others around, I just did a quick search. This one is free and does the job quite nicely. It always starts up with a error message which you simply ignore like so and then you go to port, you make sure you set that to 9600 port. It defaults to one stop bit and no parity. Those are the communication parameters for the interface. And then you open it. You then have to know which device it is that you want to open. I just happen to know on this machine it's COM6. Okay. And then you can go to send. The description for the interface says that the uh, commands for serial always have to start with 01, which makes sense because there's only one device. And then the number of the motor, this can talk to up to 16 motors. I only have the one, so I program them as one. And then there are three choices, U for up, D for down and S for stop. They always have to be capital. So if we now put a U here and press send ASCII, then you will see the lights flicker and the motor starting. And if we now send instead of the U and S, it will stop and ASCII should stop it. There it is. And D for down and it turns in the other direction. And again, let's stop this. So this is working fine. So now is the time for me to pop up into the loft and connect this to my machine there. I'll be back in just a sec. Right, I'm back. So let's have a look at the configuration of OpenHAP on a Linux machine. I'm using PuTTY to connect to the Linux machine. I told you it's in the loft, so I called it lofty. Not overly inventive, but anyway, it works for me. Um, I know I shouldn't be logging in as root, but bear with me. It's an old habit. So if you go to etc open hub, you will find quite a few directories. And if you have a look in the add-ons directory, 
you need to make sure that you do have the Org Open Hat binding URTSI with the appropriate version number. And then if you go into the configurations directory, you will see a file called openhap config. And I just append it to the bottom of the file the SOMFI URTSI2 binding and it's just a one-liner URTSI. You then have to give it an ID because you can run multiple of these devices uh, with OpenHAP. So I called mine LOFT, funnily enough, and the only configuration here is the port for it, which happens to be on this machine, device TTY for USB 0. Okay, and if we come out of that, we then go into the items folder. Then in there you have our bedroom definition and in bedrooms you'll find a light and then something of the type roller shutter called bedroom curtains with a label of bedroom curtain in the bedroom and here's the important configuration it's for URTSI and it's loft 1 <clears throat> and that's really it and if you then go to the open hub front end if you click on in my case here on upstairs in the bedroom then you have the curtains at the moment it thinks they are open so if I close them then the motor starts to roll you can stop it and you can open them again and that is it so thank you for watching the next video i'll do will be on how to integrate open hub via smart things uh, with amazon echo until then thank you for watching let me know what you think of the videos and see you soon bye